Hey y'all, hope everybody's doing well as you can in y'all's Niagara Woods. My name is Josh, this is Little Alaska Home Place. And I apologize right off the get-go for the terrible camera quality and the shakiness. But I'm trying to get somewhere, I'm walking. I'm just gonna take y'all along for a little scouting reconnaissance mission. Uh, I'm gonna do my favorite type of grocery, getting. And that's with a gun, or a line, and I got both. I got some lines in my pack back here for some more bourbon. I did a video a while ago, well, not a while ago, but not too long ago, about like a catch, clean, and cook with bourbon. And I'm gonna go try to see if I can get some more of them, guys. Uh, and on the way, I'm looking for any other thing that I'd like to get shot. So we're on the lookout for fins, for feathers, or for fur, because it's all on the menu. And as uh, Uncle Ted says, Uncle Ted Nugent says, I'm cock lock and ready to rock, Doc. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to see. I got my, uh, you all see it, my custom painted Mossberg Maverick 12 gauge uh, pump action shotgun. My old trusty. Been with me for pretty much since I was able to shoot it, I guess. And uh, does the job. I got in, I got a whole bunch of shells. Pretty much take out anything I need to. And yeah, so we'll see what happens. Bring y'all along. Don't know how I'm going to get uh, many shots on camera. Like I said, being that I'm holding this thing. But we'll see. So y'all stay tuned. Maybe something cool happens. All right, y'all. So we're back. Finally uh, not having to walk and move. So the camera's hopefully not too jiggly. Uh, I got to my spot. If y'all don't know, I, mean, I, I don't expect you to. But this is where I was moose hunting at last year. And if you haven't also obviously noticed too, we've gotten some snow. Probably got about an inch-ish, maybe a little more snow on the ground. But anyway, you can tell like right here, it's that random stick. <laughs> There's a line tied to that. So if you watch my uh, kind of catch, clean, cook, burbot video, it was probably a month or two ago. Uh, same principle. Except this time I'm having, I got my, uh, my waders on. My chest waders. I'm walking out there and busting this ice because ice is about half inch thick or so. So for the time being, I'm able to bust ice and then I can bust it out farther out and then drop the line and where I broke it at. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I got one there. So you'll be able to tell. Got another one over there off the bank over there. And hope y'all don't get dizzy. It's my pack. And so that's the river. So you can see a little bit of it still flowing right out there. Um, I think I'm gonna go back on this bank. There's a spot that's not froze over. I might put a couple lines there and then back where I came from, uh, down this little slough off this main, off the main river. Um, I'll probably put a, maybe one back there too, but water's falling out, y'all. That's what it does every year in the winter. Um, it gets, you know, in the spring and the melt and the thaw and it comes up really high. And then up in the mountains where all this is glacier fed, to my knowledge anyway. Uh, the when the glaciers up high they freeze they've had snow for probably a month up there I know at least where I was caribou hunting at and um, It'll the waters will the headwaters freeze up there and that slows the water down here Eventually just dropping it down and down and down and down. So anyway, I seen one duck But the suckers farther away than all of my shot gonna reach and uh, Wasn't able to get to him. I'm, I might try backtrack and loop around if I can get if he's still there. We'll see um, so anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll bring y'all back, I guess, if anything happens. And hopefully I'll, uh, I'll bring y'all back. Hopefully we'll come back tomorrow and check these lines. And Lord willing, we'll have some fishes. So, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so it's day two. You can tell because I've wardrobe trains changed, whatever. And we're out here to check the lines. So, I haven't checked them yet. I've been waiting on y'all to go uh, check them. And yeah, I don't know what to be make it more exciting. Like, uh, so I'm gonna turn y'all around and we're gonna go right here at this one first tree branch. So I don't know, y'all can tell, but this is ice. Everything froze and like it's been ice yesterday when I had y'all out here, but it's just, I think, what it last night we got down to 11 degrees and it's just every day we're getting a little bit colder, a little bit colder and it's flash froze everything minus that little puddle there a lot more frozen so we'll see me bust this out hopefully i can do this with holding y'all because uh the mud right here is wicked 
wicked bad mud. Let me find one. Where's my line? I just seen it. There it is. Might need to get bust. Let's see. I don't feel like I got anything. There's a lot of line though. I don't really feel nothing. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! Y'all check it out! Look, look, look! Heck yeah! Oh. Get up there. Get up on the bank. Hey, hey! Y'all, I think I didn't think we were gonna... I'll be honest with y'all. Y'all, I had my doubts. I ain't gonna lie. But, uh, first line? That's awesome. I didn't feel like I had anything on there, so I'm gonna have to go out and bust that ice again and do it. It's the last time. I don't think I filmed it. Uh, let me turn the camera. Oh, the sun is bright. Uh, I walked out and had to break out the spot to chunk the line out there. And I knew I was going to do it again when they came back today. But I was going to say, like, ah, if it's still bait on it, nothing messed with it, I'll pull that line and probably move it to spot that there's still water flowing. Um, but being that we got a fish on this one, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll bust this ice out again and uh, reset it and come back tomorrow. See what happens. So that's awesome. So y'all let me get this guy. We get him taken care of. Like I said, it's my hand. So he's a it's pretty good nice fish. I don't know, he's probably uh two and a half pounds ish. So let me get him taken care of. Get this hook out of him and whatnot. And we'll take you, I'll turn you back on when we get to the uh other line. Next line. Whatever. So hold on one second. Alright, y'all. I know the sun's probably terrible. I can't even see me. <laughs> but we got that guy taken care of. I'm stepping out. Man, the ice is getting thick. Around. Man, that ice is getting thick, y'all. Woo! I gotta put I got a couple ice spuds I might have to bring tomorrow. Yesterday I just walked right through all this. There's my line. Let me knock some more of this out. Good night. See how thick that is? Seeing if I can feel him, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel anything. I didn't feel anything last uh, time either. But now I don't. I almost guarantee there ain't nothing on this one. Let's see. Nope. Did it get me? It got me. See that? No bait. Oh. That's a sign. I mean, I caught one just down from him over there. And this is leading out to the main part of the river right here. It's a little back channel. So it's always a good spot when you're fishing. If you're doing set lines or limb lines, hit these little back channels where they meet into the bigger water so i'm gonna probably try to walk and break this out again and rebait it and then just walk it out and drop the bait like i did last time because that's that's a pretty good sign so we'll I'll go to the next one see what happens i'll bring y'all back all right y'all so you can tell i got that one busted back out just walk out there on my waders <sighs> stomp this see big old chunks of ice trying to this mud here i tell you it's some weird mud it glacial mud is different than regular mud whatever that is uh but if you sit on it too long you stand on it in the same spot i mean it just i mean i guess the old alma does that but it just sucks you down i mean it's almost where i gotta lay on my belly pull myself out every single time so anyway we got two lines done got one two got three more i think Look at y'all. You guys see the fish under the ice. I'm actually walking on it. And broke through. It's pretty thick. There's a bourbon right there. Oh yeah, we gotta get him out. The Emma the stick girl. Yeah, good job, Emma. Right. The stick does not break. I'm pretty sure it's gonna break. No, no. Thick. 
last spot, last time we do this spot. I know, that's the water bubbles. He wants to pull the fish. I did, okay. Oh wait, yep, there's the same, look, look, look. See him under there? I'm doing it. Here, my, come here. Look, 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 look at him. Pull, pull him, pull him. Yeah. We got one. He got a bourbon. Hey. Whack him. No, we're not gonna whack him. He's all right, he's gonna. We got a bourbon. He's squiggly. He's wiggly. It's like a snake. Five. Yeah, he swallowed up. Yeah, watch this. Yeah. Good thing, boy. Hey, give him a high five. High fan. On his tail. Hi, fan. <laughs> yeah, we got a bourbon. All right. Hey y'all, day three, and if you hadn't told, I've got two helpers with me that are crazy. And Luke, Luke, stay back this side, alright? Stay on this side closer. Stay. Uh huh. Ice is getting thick. Sorry about the wind, y'all. It's a windy day today. It's pretty chilly. But this ice is getting thick if you hadn't. Couldn't tell on here. I'm gonna have to change some things up because this is getting wicked thick. So, anyway, we got one bourbon for day three. First line we check, so we'll see. Same thing, uh, I'll bring you each line. I don't know if I'll bore you to death that you've seen all the lines. We don't have anything, but if we have a fish, uh, I'll turn the camera on. So, we got one fish on day three. So, we'll see what happens. Bring y'all back then. Yeah. We got another one. This is our third line. And Luke pulled him up. He's got a nice burbot. He's slimy. Grab his slime. I know they're slithery, almost like a snake, kinda. But they're super good eating. Ew. Especially when they're slimy. You see all this destruction, y'all? I'm gonna have to bring my spike pole for ice because this ice is getting so thick that I forgot my I forgot the other stick I've been using back on the other spot. So I'll just pick this. I picked this log up. Good job. Picked this log up and it's just disintegrating until I finally got through it. But it's about an inch thick or maybe a little more yeah. the ice is. So anyway, so another good day on the water. Why is it so tiny? Literally and figuratively. <laughs> well, huh? It's so tiny. No, it's a good size one. Put my hand to him. It's tiny. But uh we got two more lines, so we'll see if we got any more fishes. So I got two burbot, that's better than yesterday. Y'all are good luck. <laughs> Y'all are good luck. Yeah. I mean, you like the fish? Yeah. He's flopping. Uh, 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 oh, silly. All right. We'll see if we got another one. Oh, yeah. I thought I seen something. How big? Hey, I'm getting this. Oh, he's, right here. Come here, fish. he's swimming around. I want to get the fish. Fishy. Sure, fish. We got them. No, Daddy, put them in the water. I want to see them. Everybody in the water. Look. Those are cool. Nice ones. I seen them all the way from over there. Oh, there's something dark over there in the bank. This is really cool. Yeah, he's right here. Come here. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got number three. Three out of five lines. It's a lot better today. I moved them out deeper. Y'all, that was the problem. I thought they were deep yeah. enough where I was, but yeah, Emma got them. That's yeah. going to be good eating. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we got three out of five lines. That's pretty good. Just move them out a little deeper and that's all we needed to do. I'm bringing the ice spud. I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'm bringing the ice spud though. Uh, so anyway, to the next two lines, we'll see what happens. Or no, I'll say you take what. This is four. We got one more line, so we got three out of three out of five. So we got one more line left. So we'll see what happens. Okay, y'all. See the kids being weird. Which is a good thing. That's it for today. We got three out of five lines. That's a that's a heck of a lot better than what yesterday. Just for me, 
kids must be good luck. Uh, they're not in school, so we're was able to bring them out. It's a little cold today for the little 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 little, little guys. Cause I don't. We all walk out here. We don't have anything to ride. So, uh, but anyway, I added one more line way down there where you see the the ice ends off. I added a sixth line. Now that this, I know this mud right here is not too bad. I don't sink too bad in it. I can get out of it. Uh, there's a deep, deep hole over there. And I put it right on the edge of that and dropped a bait down in there. So that ought to be a guaranteed burbot over there. But all this is, is getting, I mean, it already dropped from, when you seen this, would have been yesterday from the other previous clips. That water's already probably fell out another six, eight inches since I was here yesterday. It's just dropping and dropping. So kind of glad too that I'm out here doing this is now I'll know where the deep holes are. So when the ice gets really, really thick and we're having to use my, like my augers and whatnot. I know where I'm not wasting my time and hitting mud or something. Uh, I'll be over there. All right, y'all. So this is day four, I think. Four. And yeah, I got the sun to my back, y'all. So I hope it's not blinding y'all, but it's it is bright out here. And uh, my hair's crazy. And the kids have chores to do, so they're not here. So I'm out by myself. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. I got my spud pole with me today because the old ice is getting a little too thick. And we'll see what happens. So y'all bear with me with the filming because it's all me again. So here we go. So two lines. We got one burbot from two lines. Now he's a nice little muddy on that side, but he's a nice, he's a nice one. Good eater anyway. So two lines down. We've got four more to go because I did put one out, an extra one out yesterday in a, in a sweet spot that I found. So we shall see. Let's see what happens. All right, y'all. So checked couple more lines and I got one little dude one little burbot he's all curled up in my hand uh, out of whatever it is so I got one more left I skipped I forgot about it I gotta go back and get it we'll see if there's anything on that line but so far it's this little dude and a funny fun fact I noticed that we have a lot in common me and this burbot or pretty much every burbot cuz see that right there see that little whisker <laughs> We got the same whiskers. So, uh, I know we're related down online. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so it's what, two today? Got three yesterday and then today the first. So we'll see. We got to check one more line. We may have uh, three today, too. We got to check. But it's going to update. Another burbot. Big or small, we eat them all. Else, this is the last line. Thank the Lord. We got one more. <laughs> and again, he ain't a biggin', but uh, he'll eat just fine. Just like a biggin'. So, uh, I release in the grease, Lake Crisco. So, that's where they're going. Uh, anyway, so yeah, y'all, I'm going to chuck him in my bucket with his brothers and, uh, and or sisters, I guess. Got to include them, too. <laughs> Just wanted to say, y'all, y'all can see me doing this. Y'all can do this, too. Anywhere you live, I guarantee you, unless you're, like, in a desert somewhere. So, I don't know what to tell you on that. But if you, I'm sure most people got some kind of creek or river, stream pond lake or something around them and if you have access to it y'all i mean literally you can go get some construction twine from a hardware store uh some pack of hooks that'll fit through that that twine will fit through and uh maybe some weights or what depending on the current and go get you some cut bait or something and throw them off in the, in the creek you know check your regulations and all that fun stuff but y'all can catch most people got catfish if you're in the united states you got uh catfish in most states and catfish is practically the same you see me doing here um, so that might be an option y'all food prices and everything going up. I'm just saying uh, It's a good substitute to substitute some food bills food bills um, Instead of buying fish I can go catch my own and that just saves me. I look at how much it saves me uh, Instead of going and buying it, you know per pound a pack of cod is like 10 bucks a pound So this is basically what these are is freshwater cod. So I can just go catch my own and save at ten dollars a pound So it's just an option for y'all Thinking about doing a video, let me know if y'all, what do y'all think about doing like a beginner's guide to fishing, I guess. Like, basically I was thinking about going to Walmart, buying a pole, buying some simple tackle, and then going fishing with it. And just kind of showing y'all how I would do it or whatever for those that maybe are, are not into fishing or never just really known how to do it. So, let me know if that's something y'all might want to see. And I think that's it. So, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments. And yeah, so y'all take care. God bless. Then.